Hey, this is David Tu. I'm a network specialist at Google Cloud. Welcome back to What's New in Networking. Today, we'll guide you through our new load balancing and service networking launches. First, our new features around external and internal load balancers. Next, we'll take a quick stop discussing Traffic Director, and we'll finish off our journey with Private Service Connect. Stay tuned. First stop is our external network load balancer. The network load balancer is a regional pass-through load balancer that distributes TCP and UDP traffic among virtual machines in the same region. As you might know, the network load balancer leverages target pools or target instances. With the recent launch, we've enabled the use of regional backend services. Similar to target pools, a backend service defines how cloud load balancing distributes traffic. But now, backend service configurations give you fine-grained control over how your load balancers behave. It contains a set of values like protocols, distribution and settings, health checks, and timeouts. So what does this launch mean? First, this launch gives feature parity for the same backend services as other Google Cloud load balancers, like our global load balancer or our TCP and SSL proxy load balancer. Second, it transitions from legacy health checks to unified health checks which allows you to configure TCP health checks. Third, it enables connection draining. And lastly, it enables failover groups. All right, now let's move on to what's new with the internal network load balancer. Prior to this launch, if you were ever required to send traffic to a single internal load balancer virtual IP, you were limited to only one forwarding rule per virtual IP address. With this launch, you'll now be able to configure multiple forwarding rules with the same virtual IP. Now you'll have the flexibility to define different protocols such as TCP or UDP to the same virtual IP. In addition, you'll have the flexibility to have multiple forwarding rules to the same virtual IP, but exposing different ports. This launch gives you the ability to have various forwarding rules combinations pointing to the same virtual IP. Now that we covered our load balancers, let's cover two new additions to Traffic Directory, our fully managed traffic control plane for service mesh. Introducing TCP services support for Traffic Director. This feature enables you to use Traffic Director to route traffic to services that expect non-HTTP traffic, such as databases or voice over IP services. Those of you who have TCP-based services get global load balancing for multi-region services, such as cross-regional failover and overflow, a fully managed control plane for TCP traffic, a consistent control plane across L4 and L7 traffic, and you can easily connect workloads to external services. For those of you that use proxyless gRPC with Traffic Director and need additional visibility, now you can, with observability for proxyless gRPC. You're able to access monitoring and tracing metrics that help you solve configuration and networking issues with your deployment. Best of all, you can export these metrics to cloud monitoring and cloud trace. You can then build dashboards and charts and even use them as a basis for automating alerts. Our last feature is Private Service Connect for Google APIs. Prior to this launch, there were two ways of connecting to Google APIs. The first is over the public internet. This requires your client to have a public IP or go through NAT to hit a public API endpoint. The second was to configure private Google Access. Private Google Access removed the requirement to have a public IP or go through NAT. Now your clients can privately route traffic to private endpoint IPs that Google defines. With the launch of PSE for Google APIs, you have the ability to create multiple custom endpoints of your choosing. Now you get more control over which APIs hit which endpoint, and it remains completely private to your VPC. And that's what's new in networking for load balancing and service networking. Thanks for sticking around till the end. I welcome you to start using these features and be sure to take a look at the links below for guides on how to use them. Stay tuned for the next What's New in Networking.